What is up, guys? It is Team Tai here today. Welcome back to another Infinite Warfare Zombies video. Now, before we start the video, smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the boss battle mode that has been recently added into Infinite Warfare Zombies and my honest opinions about it and how they can tweak it in the upcoming days or so and just overall how to make the boss battle mode even better. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, we only had like two boss battles in this little boss battle mode, and that is the Spaceland boss fight and the Raven the Redwoods boss fight. First, we're going to talk about the Spaceland boss fight. Now, since there is no Pack-a-Punch Zappers this time around, and the alien is seemingly harder than the original boss fight without Director's Cut, it might seem really difficult, especially if you're used to beating the Easter eggs in Director's Cut mode like me. But honestly, the Space Learn Alien boss fight isn't too bad if you just take your time. I mean, you can get some BS deaths, like for example, my friend Luke or Russian, whatever you want to call him, was actually able to get launched out of the map just from the alien teleporting in front of him. So yeah, you might get some BS deaths here and there. Honestly, I am not used to the boss fight without like going into the director's cut. Like usually when I go for space lane nowadays, whenever I go for the space lane boss fight or the space lane Easter egg, I guess I should say, I always go into director's cut mode with a double pack of punch discord and it's really just, it's super OP. And the boss battle game mode is honestly bringing back those memories of me just absolutely hating the space lane boss fight and the aliens. But all of that doesn't matter, all of the BS deaths, all that doesn't matter if you use a Reaver with Smart Shot. Yes, I'm not completely sure if it has been patched yet, but people have been beating the boss fight in literally under a minute just by using a Reaver with Smart Shot and Explosive Touch Fading Fortune card. It's incredibly overpowered and honestly ridiculous if you ask me. And even if you beat the boss fight incredibly fast, you only get five keys you only get like five keys which is a bs reward but not only that but there are no leaderboards for boss battle at the release of this video i think there should be at least an option where you can opt in director's cut mode if you want or at least make the alien more easy to kill it can take a whole entire zapper ammo it can take a whole entire discord ammo shredder ammo head cutter ammo whatever you're using it can literally take the whole entire ammo sometimes to kill the alien but now we got space money out of the way let's talk about raven the redwoods now, for the slasher boss fight or the Raven the Redwoods boss fight, it's the slasher boss fight. You should not have any problems dealing with the slasher, and honestly, I think the Rave boss fight is the most balanced boss battle out of all the ones we have gotten thus far. But just overall, I think boss battle is a really good idea, but it definitely needs more tweaking. It definitely needs more tweaking. I like the challenge. But the Spaceland boss fight, that needs to be fixed. Rave is okay, but Spaceland, it gotta be tweaked a bit. Maybe not by a whole lot, but at least fix the key rewards. I mean, five keys for beating the Spaceland boss battle in under a minute. What are you doing? And Lee Ross on Twitter has been doing these challenges like, Oh, beat the Slasher in under six minutes. No Fiend Fortune cards. No perks. Like, that's impossible. I haven't seen anybody beat Rave in under six minutes. Even with Fate and Fortune cards, even with perks, even with every single OP thing, you have to have God tier RNG for that to happen. So, Lee Ross, I love you, man. Like, trust me, I love you, Lee Ross. Like, you did a really good job on Infinite Warfare Zombies. But these challenges are a bit ridiculous, if you ask me. But that's going to wrap up today's video, my honest opinions on the whole boss battle mode in Infinite Warfare Zombies. It's a good idea, but it needs a lot of tweaking. But that's going to be it for today's video. Smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new. Comment down your opinions on this boss battle mode in Infinite Warfare Zombies. But my name is Team Sai here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just keep those positive vibes flowing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.